Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, who remembers this headline which I said was all nonsense at the time? I think this is a couple of weeks ago. Oh, sorry, I've got the date right in front of me, October the 7th. So yeah, it was a few weeks ago. Xbox Series X will apparently run hot enough to heat, heat up a flat. So I don't know if you guys remember coming this, this coming out. I certainly do and I've done a video on it if you want to go back. And I said basically it's nonsense. It's a load of journalists, um, rubbish that's been conjured up by someone they've obviously been paid off to just downplay the xbox x series x before it's launched because basically the xbox series x is long they're destroying sony at the moment with positive news so it's all obviously paid a few journalists to say hey just say something something bad about xbox just complain about its heat problems especially at the time ps5 just happened to come out about its cooling system but at the same time some journalists come out about this and was claiming it's overheating and stuff i'll read some of the some of the things here the Series X is like hot, like really hot. It doesn't make any noise, but damn, it's hot. The console is emitting heat like crazy. It's almost like a fireplace shaft. You can heat up your flat with it. Another guy, CNX Jeff Backer, like a lucker, expressed a similar sentiment in the latest episode of the Giant Beast cast, noting that while the console is definitely impressive, it does become rather hot under the collar. Uh, here's what's crazy. This was just plugged in. In, in standby mode behind me and you guys the entire thing is a little toasty he explained no the console he'd been testing for the past few weeks or so uh, it seems like in in the way like a hot a lot of the other consoles were doing stuff while you were not using them it seems like this thing might be doing something while you're not using it to the point where it needs to exhaust heat and there was uh, several journalists some of which retracted their statements and deleted them when they was questioned um, but yeah, there's a lot of journalists coming out saying basically it's got overheating problems. Um, yes, so what's happened since then, because at the time I debunked it all and said it's absolute nonsense, they're lying. And what's happened since then? Well, let's just watch, because as we know, unlike Sony, who haven't given their PS5s to anyone uh, to test out other than their, their Japanese-only influencers, Xbox gave their consoles out to lots of gamers and um, independent game sites. So let's just hear from a couple of what they actually thought of the heating problems. Knight said, how hot is it really running? Uh, keep seeing a lot of stuff about it being pretty hot even on standby. I've seen a few videos where they mentioned it. So I can only speak to my own experience and people with different units could obviously have different experiences. In my experience with my particular Xbox Series X, it is warm on startup and then not at all. It cools down very quickly even when running games that I would consider to be quite intense. Like your Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, um, which I will later this week have um, videos showing you guys load times for. Naturally, I do not have any way to actually test the temperature myself, so I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I am not even a little bit concerned about overheating personal. Now's Hopefully. the time for us to break out the thermal camera and take some metrics. And those metrics are certainly fascinating. So there's an interesting distribution of temperatures here. You can see that the metal sandwich core of the processor and Southbridge boards are the center of heat here. And 48, 49 degrees Celsius skin temperature on the console, not bad at all. It just kind of feels warm to the touch. The bottom of the unit actually feels cold, especially on the mostly unused optical drive, which is essentially at room temperature. On the rear, the unit is hotter here but still in the mid 40s mostly. On the rear, the brightest and hottest spot is where I have the one terabyte external drive plugged in, where we hit 48 to 49 degrees Celsius. Now there's been some discussion about how hot the plug-in drive gets, and yeah, I'll talk about that in a bit. Overall though, thus far, clearly Series X is a well-cooled device, cold even in some areas. So how is this done? Well, the thermal photography reveals all. The whole unit is designed to funnel in cool air from the base, take it through the console, then propel it out of the top. The top there, that's the ultimate heat center for the console and it lights up in spectacular style on the thermal camera. Here I noted a maximum of 62 degrees Celsius and yeah, that is hotter than any console test I've ever done before. But remember, Series X is pulling more power than any console I've ever tested before. Put your hand above the exhaust outlet on the top there and you can definitely feel the heat. In common with any console really, you really do need to ensure that hot air can escape. So keeping Series X in an enclosed space is not a good idea. But I'm sure those reports of using Series X to heat your flat 
must be a tongue in cheek because look, we can tell from the power meter that our peak power consumption is under 210 watts. And yeah, look at any electric heater, they kind of start at 2000 watts, an order of magnitude higher. I suspect it's simply the case that the funneling of heat with Series X in this kind of chimney-like arrangement concentrates it. That may be what's causing the concern when really you're pushing a max of 20 to 30% more heat out than Xbox One X, assuming that the power consumption funnels directly into heat, of course. And yeah, let's continue the heat discussion by looking at the Seagate one terabyte plug-in SSD, which has been described as getting hot to the touch. Now I stress this by copying Fallout 4 to and from the SSD for about 20 minutes, a workload that will far exceed what a game is likely to do. So I'd say that overall the performance is solid. Now let's look at the thermals. As I take the drive out of the unit, the hottest part of the SSD, 46 Celsius, warm to the touch, but that's about it, really. My ultimate conclusion then, Xbox Series X is a larger than average console, but it's still a console. And its extra size and innovative design are there to handle higher power demands compared to prior console generations, but the point is that the design pays off. The machine is basically silent and the excess heat generation is successfully dealt with. Heat dissipation does require space to actually dissipate into though, that much is obvious. So don't keep Series X or indeed any of your modern-ish consoles in an enclosed space. So there we go, that's just a couple. There are actually, if you if you Google it or YouTube it, just, I mean, search in YouTube, you can find there are other um, notable or just gamers that are coming out who do have the Xbox Series X that have they actually actually have played it and tested it are coming out and debunking all the nonsense about its overheating issues and actually a couple of days after those journalists all come out all at once oddly enough um, Aaron Greenberg come out and said it's all nonsense um, he, and they debunked the whole thing as well but he was shot down because he works for Xbox obviously so he's lying as they all say and as you do and as you happens it yeah got loads of PlayStation channels that are reporting this news and you know the people that are reporting it because they like to spread false information because it gets them um, so yeah so that's just a quick video really debunking all the overheating issues on the Xbox Series X if that was your concern that it was overheating thanks to all these fake news um, it's not there's no real problems with it as shown um, the, the only worry is now going forward on this is that how much more fake news we're going to get because it's really disrupting gaming that you're going to keep getting media create news and then fanboys support it in order just to sell more consoles sell more plastic when you're just screwing this consumer over ultimately for clicks you're actually screwing over players you're screwing over people spending money people like why not buy this console and buy something else or buy something at all just because of your lies, you're screwing over the gamers, basically. So this needs to stop going to the next generation. We can't have another generation like this generation. We can't have next generation. We're just getting fake news and lies spread about these consoles. Just be honest, you're journalists. You're journalists at the end of the day. Just do your job, right? Stop playing for clicks. Do your job, do it well, and then you might get a bit of respect. Though you're always going to get a fan base that watches, clicks and likes it because it suits their narrative, which is equal as is pathetic, really. So that was just a quick video on that. I hope you like that. Um, please take that out and share it because everyone needs to know this information clearly because people are still concerned that the Xbox Series X is overheating and it's not, it's not having any such problems. Send this out. Please sub and share. Please like. Put in the comments down below and goodbye for now.